artists. Have you ever made t-shirt yarn? This week we're going to make t-shirt yarn and all you need for this is a sharp scissors and an old t-shirt. If you have more than one t-shirt to choose from, try using one that doesn't have much writing on it or one that's plain. Once you've selected your t-shirt, lay it sideways across your workspace and cut off the bottom from the armpit to the other armpit. You're cutting off the square bottom of your t-shirt. You can make more yarn with the top of your t-shirt, but for right now, fold it up and set it aside. Lay your t-shirt down so that it is still sideways. The right side here is the opening of my t-shirt or the bottom where it would hang off of me. Now, start cutting slits about two pencils wide from the bottom or essentially the side of your t-shirt to near the middle. Stop short of the middle and continue cutting slits from right to left or left to right. Once you've finished that side, carefully turn your t-shirt around and do the same thing on the other side, again, stopping short. As you can see here, I have a space in the middle, a section that is uncut. This next part is really important. You'll open up your sections and gently pull them apart. Then you'll take your scissors and cut diagonally so that you have a beginning to your yarn. That beginning of your yarn is slightly pointy. Then you continue joining one side to the other, cutting sort of diagonally now. And you're continuing to do this until you get to the end. Make sure to stay in order as you cut. Take your time. If you get a knot or you get confused, go back and try to find the beginning, that one edge or that pointy part that started the whole thing. Now, let's say you have your yarn in more than one section. Not a problem, just do what I do here and join the two together with a double knot. You can do this as many times as you need to and for most projects you make with t-shirt yarn, you won't notice these knots. Now, my favorite part. You can wrap it into a ball, like a real ball of yarn. And as you wrap, you tug on the t-shirt a little bit to sort of stretch it and thin it out. It starts to really look like yarn. Now you're ready to wrap it and make a palm. Take a book and find the beginning of your yarn. Wrap your yarn around this book. It has to be a hard cover, as you can see. And keep wrapping until you get to the end of the strand. When you get to the end, cut off a short amount, pull your yarn off of the book carefully, 
and find the middle of the bundle. This is where you will wrap that short strand around and you're going to wrap it around really tight and tie a few knots. After I tie two knots on one side, I flip it over and do the same on the other side. Then you can leave the leftovers and you'll see what I do next. In order to make a pom-pom, you have to cut each of these loops. So one by one, I cut the loops and my pom-pom gets fluffier and shaggier. And just by chance here, I'm able to cut that little knot off from before. You can make whatever creation you'd like. I turned my palm into a monster. You might even get creative and perhaps give a stuffed animal or something in your bedroom a new hairdo. Just remember to ask permission if you're borrowing or using someone else's t-shirt. In our family, we have found all kinds of ways to use t-shirt yarn. I can't wait to see what you make.